All right, guys, so uh, today we're going to do the carburetor and fuel lines on a Poulon Pro. Uh, this is a PP4218A. Um, the difference between this one and uh, the 4218 is this one has a throttle cable. And I've done the research. Um, this is the first time I've ever had to buy a carburetor for one of these, so I couldn't find the exact looking one as this. All of them that I found were this kind which is the one that takes the uh, takes the throttle arm and not the cable but as I was researching and looking I realized that this is designed to actually take both so the throttle arm would go into this hole down here the throttle cable pulls it would go here so it'll work so I, I'm basically believing that this is going to be the same process as everything else um, it's got the same choke arm it's got the same you know the same uh, throttle, the same fuel nipples. Um, the throttle arm's got the same spot for it to hook. You know everything looks the same. So we're gonna go through that. Um, I'll put the uh, kit in the description below. Uh, it's an HIPA kit. Um, very good company. Here's it comes with fuel lines, a couple of filters, um, primer bulb. Uh, there's a couple of them in there, a couple of fuel filters, uh, there's a spark plug. Um, this even came with a carburetor adjusting tool. It's a spline tool, so that's nice to have. You, you know, next time you have an issue with your carburetor, you can actually adjust it too, um, if it's just a simple adjustment. Um, yeah, everything in the kit. First thing we're gonna do um, is take off this black cover. It's either Torque 25s or a flathead screwdriver. Um, either one works fine. There's three bolts, one, two, and a third one over here. Push the uh, brake forward. This should just lift right up off of there. Uh, air filter cover off. Air filter off. And then we're gonna have uh, Torque 25 right there. Get that off. Yeah, so you're going to need the Torque 25 either way. Might as well get one. These, are, those are the star, star. It's not really focusing. Star screwdrivers. Get that out, and then you got the two eight millimeters after that. Okay, so we're going to slide this uh, off a little bit. We got the throttle cable hooked to this and this. Um, so maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. It's just an S turn. So I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna get it to come out of the S turn. Right it's just an S turn in there. And then this this should go off to the side and out of the way, basically. Um, like that. Um, we're going to remove the fuel lines. Uh, don't worry about where they go. I'm going to show you where they go. We're gonna... If you got to, cut them right off. Not even a big deal. And this is going to slide right on out after you get the fuel lines off. So I had to cut that one. No big deal. Right there. Um, gasket's still in place. All right, so uh, well, let's go ahead and get this recoil off. It's a uh, flathead or a torque 25, one, two, three, and four of them. We need to get this off so we can get to the primer bolt. This lifts up off here. No biggie. Um, there's a little black cover too that comes right off. Um, sometimes it'll come off separately and it'll still be sitting there. You can just get it off out of there throw it to the side all right um, we're not worried about this primer bulb because we're gonna put a new one in there so you can just grab it with a pair of pliers and just rip it right off it's not gonna hurt anything at all um, it, I, actually a normal pair of pliers works better <laughs> just rip it right off no problem right on out of there all right don't worry about where the fuel lines go again I'll tell you where they go um, now we're going to go ahead and open this tank out. Make sure that all the gas is out of this tank and clean. 
we're going to pull this line through this we're going to reach right on in there grab it it's got the fuel filter on it and everything i believe we're going to pull that right on out um, you can use a uh, uh, pair of needle nose to reach in there and grab it or even like a bent over um, you know clothes hanger or something that's straightened out and bent into a hook you know you're just going to reach in there and grab it and pull it out well, as you can see this fuel line is disintegrating the inner is separating from the outer so what happens when this happens even if this stays on all the way down when the inner separates you can't even see it and it starts collapsing inside of itself and stopping the flow of fuel from happening properly so it's always very important that you change the fuel lines out every time all right now we're going to take we've got two different kinds of line we got thick line and we got thinner line we're going to take the thick line we're going to cut it into a point stick it through this rubber grommet that's down here that one right there turn the flashlight on that grommet right there we're going to stick it through there pair of needle nose we're going to uh oh. we're going to just push it right on through and we're going to push it down in the tank until we can grab it inside the tank and then we're going to pull it right on out of the mouth of the tank like this I'm going to cut the tip off like that oh, make sure you don't leave any debris in the in the engine all right um and then uh fuel filter got brand new ones we're going to stab the fuel filter right on this line like that we're going to stick this filter right back into the tank and then we can pull out some of the extra line and we want basically that fuel filter to be able to flop around in there but it needs to be able to lay on the bottom of the tank as well so that should be good oh look we look at all this debris we got to clean that out before we go any further uh blow it all out with air um rinse it out with gas whatever you got to do to get that all out just a quick burst of air cleans all that out of there if you don't get that out it can clog the filter and then uh the, you know the machine won't run which is quite embarrassing as a mechanic when the machine comes back the next day because you missed a step but things do happen nobody is perfect all right primer bulb the short nipple is what goes to this line so we're going to cut this line off around here and stab it on the short nipple no, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Don't nothing goes on this. Nothing goes on this at all. This goes to the carburetor, not the primer ball. Primer ball pulls through the carburetor. Um, so basically, the fuel pump side, which is this side here, the fuel line will go to, and then this will go to the short nipple. So when you the short nipple sucks, so when you push the button in, when you let it out, it pulls through here. So it pulls out of the tank, through the carburetor, out of here. So that's what we're gonna do. But, uh, all right, next line first, before we get crazy here. All the way in the back, right back there. See it? Send me a thin line, but I don't think the thin line goes on there. I think that's going to be a thick line. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of line this up. All right, so the fuel filter line is going to go to this side here. So we're just going to cut this to length to where it'll stab on that. Cut this into a point. Go ahead and pull this back out of the way. We're going to shove this down in this back notch. This is our return line, so that back hole there, we're gonna shove it down in there, and we only need to get it in about an inch. Just like that, just in an inch, no filter, no nothing. It's just letting the gas go back in from the prime. Um, kind of like an overflow line or whatever. Uh, this, though, is gonna go under the carburetor. It is going to go to the primer ball. It is going to the long nipple of the primer ball. Okay, wait a minute. Let's go through this. Let's get on the other side of this cable that's getting in our way. Get it out of the way. Get it under. God, man, 
everything is such a pain in the butt. Look at that. So much fun. All right, so we got that air. All right, it's there, it's out of the way, just like that. We're gonna cut it right around here and then stab it on the long nipple of the primer bulb. Just like that. Now the leftover fuel line, we're gonna stab on the short nipple of the primer bulb. Yeah, again, this is suction. This is going to go to this side. Filter, which is this one here, that goes in this back, goes to this side of the single. All right. Now we've gotten that settled in, we're going to turn the short nipple down to face the bottom. And you see these two bar bends. Let's see if I can get some lever down here. These two bar bends, we're going to push them in until they click. Just like that. So the short nipple down, there's a little notch on it that has to be down. Um, Alright, now we know that this is suction. And this is fuel filter. The other one's already hooked up. All right. So we're going to go ahead and set up our carburetor. All right. So we've got a choke arm and, you know, a little rubber bit. We're going to pull the rubber bit off. And put it on the new one. Like that. And then the choke arm. Oh choke arm pulls off too um, it, it's like an s-turn as well it fell off no biggie though i'm gonna put it into that one and it's a little s-turn no biggie like that now there's a little modification that i do on these um it looks like hipas is gonna be short enough but just to be sure there's a plastic piece on these right here that the carburetor this rod right here hits so i can trim it off so there's a bend in it right there you don't want to go past that bend you just want to take off a little bit extra you see it's still got a little bit of that bend in it and it works still it just is a little too long and you want to shorten it up a little bit all right um, HIPAs look like it was going to be short enough, but you know, just I'm just being safe, precautious, you know. Um, all right. So now we're going to go ahead and all right. Let's see here. Suction is going to go around to this side to the bottom. We're going to cut it to length and stab it on that nipple on the bottom. Suction, but I meant the filter line. Filter line goes there. All right. We're sitting in place here. We're going to cut suction now, the one that goes to the short nipple, to length, and we're going to stab it on there, just like that. All right, can get any of the debris out of here, no biggie. Um, oh, the choke arm fell off. Make sure that's in, like that. This is going to come across. Um, oh, you know what? choke arm needs to be on the opposite side of that cable it looks so we can get this over and then bring this over like that so we got the choke arm on the other side of the cable we're going to go ahead and get this estern cable for the throttle cable into the top hole just like that Then we're going to move this, maneuver this down, line it up with the bolts, line the choke arm, sorry I'm not looking at the right spot, line the choke arm up, these to the bolts, all like this, it's looking good, two 8 millimeters and the torque 25, torque 25 so you got some four coarse and one fine, the fine one is the one that goes into this carburetor. Those tighten on before we go any further, we're going to check everything. Throttle's working fine. Choke works fine. Off. Um, primer. Let's uh, put some gas in this and make sure the primer bulb was working.
check everything, make sure I'm not pinched anywhere. It shouldn't be pinched because it is trying. Oh, look, there it goes. It just needed to prime it a little bit more. All right, no biggie. All right, so primer bulb's working. Um, let's go ahead and put the recoil cover back on. Let's see, this goes, which way does this go? No, no. No. Where is it? Go somewhere here, you know what? Probably easier to set this in here. Why not from here? gotta go this way yes goes in like that all right nice and we're gonna go ahead put it on boom like that those four coarse threads Shaping, so a little pair of scissors will trim them out. Whatever. We're gonna put the old one back on. You can rinse the old one out with carb cleaner. These are just a little off, off shape. We just have to trim like a little bit of this one off to get it to fit in there. Um, air filter cover. But again, like this, these carburetors are designed, you know, for a different model. This is, you know, a different carburetor altogether and but it fit worked and fit so um put it back on on there and then you got your three bolts torque 25s or flatheads get them in all right and that's it guys hope that helped you out uh if it did in any way shape or form give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button i'll put the parts in the description below that i used on this um if you want to do any advertising through my channel, message me. I'd be more than happy to have you. Peace.